When I'm meeting with patients to talk about all the available options to create a customized weight loss plan for them, one of the questions that I get is, is using a medication, you know, cheating? Is this something that's really just making this like an unfair advantage for me? And one of the things that I think is really important for patients to recognize is that obesity is a chronic disease. And the reason that it is a chronic disease, or one of the reasons it's a chronic disease, is because we know that every time a person's fat mass percentage increases, the hormone balance shifts in their body. And the hormonal regulation of appetite and hunger legitimately shifts so that individuals with a higher body fat percentage may truly be more hungry and less satiated from the foods they eat, even if they're eating the same exact foods as individuals with a lower body fat percentage. We also know that if the body has ever really had a lot of metabolic slowing or has ever experienced a period of, you know, food restriction to the point that it's almost akin to starvation, again, hunger and satiety cues can really change. So I do believe that each individual person has their own unique hunger and satiety cues, and recognizing that is very important. So for me, I always wanna meet my patients where they're at with what their needs are. And we also know that there's a huge genetic component to weight regulation as well. Each individual has a you know, set point that is highly influenced by genetics. And we also know that appetite regulation is also very influenced by genetics. So I don't think that in the modern world with access to modern medications like we have now, we need to think about obesity as being any different than treating cancer or treating high blood pressure or treating high cholesterol. Back in the day, before there were medications for treatment of those other conditions, patients would probably die from those diseases because we wouldn't have the degree of disease control that we're able to have now. So for me, medications that we use to treat obesity should be thought of really as the same as those other medications. If this is something that's gonna enable you to be the healthiest you can be, even if it is, again, changing your behavior, I think that's where the stigma comes in these medications or the idea that this is cheating. I don't think we would ever use a word like that to say, oh, you're taking a blood pressure medicine and your blood pressure is normal, that's cheating. You should have you know, a sky high blood pressure that's increasing your stroke risk. And I think it's because other diseases like high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and again, even something like cancer, you know, they can be silent for a long time, whereas obesity is something that is rapidly visible to not only just clinicians, but to anyone that sees a patient. And so I think acknowledging that and recognizing that that stigma is wrong and really, really needs to be removed and being able to speak about that frankly with patients is very important.